I've been kiteboarding for about seven years now. Slingshot has been supporting me from quite the beginning and I've been really happy with their support and their kites and yeah, it just rocks, man. Right now I live with my parents back in Holland in a town called Noordwijk. It's a town 20 minutes drive down south from Amsterdam and I live right on the beach so it's sweet man. Yeah, I travel a lot lately, uh, right now we're in Cape Town, I'm here for about three months. It's just all for training, competitions, meeting people, visiting new beaches and yeah, I just ride hard man. I just try to compete in a fun way, like I don't really compete for the for the results. Like I want to push the sport in the right direction, I want to ride how it feels good to me. So I just showed uh, my way of kiteboarding and people reacting it so good, like they enjoy uh, watching me ride and that's what gives me a lot of energy to do sicker moves and to keep on doing what I'm doing. Being a pro kiteboarder is not hard and it's not easy, it's just uh, your way of living man, like I don't want to get injured. I just uh, go to the gym so now and then to keep the body fit uh, so I can take the biggest crashes. Like here in Cape Town we've got like 35 knots every day and some big ramps coming in. So when you crash from like 8 meters up, you don't want to get hurt man, you want to do it again. You can scream out, little all, you can cry, no. Yeah, things that help me in my training is just keeping fit and just keep on doing sports. So when it's not windy I go to the cable uh, quite a lot. Slingshot uh, recently uh, came out with some sick wakeboards and some nice uh, PB Floyd boots. So, yeah, they sent me over a board and I tried it and I'm pretty addicted to the cable, man. I can get some great highs, some good etching, and it's just good fun. What do I like about Cape Town is definitely all the people here, they're great, really friendly and uh, the kite scene is fun and the conditions are epic dude. You get some really good days out here where you can just push, uh, push yourself to the max man. And uh, there are some good parties in town here so that's always good to have close by. Yeah. Yeah, how I got into kiteboarding is actually pretty funny. I always used to be on the beach like as a little kid, I love the water and the, uh, and the sand and the but I didn't love the sand. <laughs> no, no, I always used to live close to the water and I always used to love the beach. So uh, I just started playing with little kites and they got bigger and bigger until it got out of hand, man. And now, yeah, you can see it's really out of hand. Yeah, the gear I'm riding, I've been riding the fuel uh, since the beginning I got with Slingshot because that's just the core kite of the power and uh, yeah, I've been working on that kite on some prototypes together with Tony Lagarde, our Slingshot kite designer. In 2007 we came up with a great kite for all performances and yeah, I just love that thing and in 2009 we'll come out with a new killer fuel, man. I fly the fuel four lines because uh, I can't even connect five lines to my kite without getting more tangled up and I think the kite just performs as good with four lines and yeah I know what to do and people it comes stuck with five lines because people like the safety if they want to try some new unhook tricks or something so I think it's good there's a fifth line uh, on that thing and it keeps it a little bit more stable so people might like it. Yeah, what's really important is that you feel really comfortable with the equipment you ride and as I like riding strong winds, my lines are like the most important things of my setup and I've been working on a ribbon length pro bar with Slingshot and it's pretty good man, it's got some extra thick lines so they won't snap while you're in the air. I had it once in the mid kite loop, my line snapped and I just packed out in the water and it could have been horrific man. So yeah, lines are really important and I think all the Slingshot guys will come with thicker lines so you guys can feel safe out there. Yeah, 
as the kites have developed quite a bit over the past years, like the boat kite came on the market and I'm pretty stoked Slingshot kept the core kite there and that's the sea kite because that was the best kite for performing freestyle moves and yeah, I'm stoked we keep on developing better sea kites and I definitely think Slingshot is on top of their game. Yeah, so we've just released my uh, own pro model board with Slingshot, it's called the Luna Sea. I've been working on a board uh, in the gorge uh, the past summer and John Doyle actually shaped the thing quite good and I was surprised but when I rode it on the water we made a kind of a little adjustments but it got better and better and I'm super happy with the Lunacy for sure. It comes in the size 129 by 39 and I think uh, in the coming years we might add some sizes for like bigger guys. Or My advice for young kiters, like I, I've been in the kiteboarding scene for quite a bit now and I built up a, quite a big name for myself just because the way I kiteboard and the way I live and the way I speak, I don't know. It's just my personality and what I just want to say to you, just do everything that feels right to you and you will get on the right track, man. Keep on riding hard, that's for sure. So my goals for the next year uh, is just visit as many beaches as possible and make friends with locals. Uh, I get a lot of energy with riding from the locals because I can show them new stuff that they enjoy seeing me ride, you know. And uh, I want to do some competitions just to show them the way of where I want to lead kiteboarding to. Not the super technical way and I want to keep the judges on the straight line and yeah, just keep the, keep, keep the sport core, man. So for uh, keeping track on what I'm doing and what I'm busy with and some new videos, just surf to slingshotsports.com and uh, you'll find all the info there. You can also visit my personal website, it's lantan.com. So check it out and ride hard. Enjoy that shit. <laughs>